स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर स्टार्टिंग इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन इज अ वेरी गुड चैप्टर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट अस स्टडी द बेसिक थिंग्स इन इट एंड लेट अस लर्न द बेसिक कैलकुलेशंस ऑन व्हिच द होल चैप्टर इज बेस्ड सो फ्यू बेसिक थिंग्स व्हिच आर ऑलरेडी नोन टू अस लेट अस डिस्कस देम अबाउट मैग्नेटिक फील्ड लाइंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड हाउ दे आर एंड व्हाट आर देयर प्रॉपर्टीज most of the properties are same as of the electric field lines like the direction of the magnetic field is the direction of the magnetic flux lines the direction of the flux line is the direction of the magnetic field vector if they are close then the field is dense magnetic field its density is more if they are away then the density of the magnetic field is less and the biggest and the most important property which you have already seen that is magnetic field always forms a closed loop they don't start at a point and end at a point it don't have end a whole one complete loop is there from wherever we move we will reach the same point from which we started so magnetic flux lines are closed loops this is very important property magnetic flux lines or say field lines are close loop this we have already seen and we measure this field lines with the help of magnetic flux how we measure them let us see how we measure it and what is magnetic flux magnetic flux magnetic flux is amount is amount of magnetic field lines magnetic flux is amount of magnetic field lines and how we measure it this we call it as phi as we have seen the electric flux in the same way magnetic flux is equal to phi so phi we have already seen phi is phi is equal to electric field into area into cos theta from an area a this area is a suppose from it passes over electric field vectors and the area vector is in this way if the angle between these two is theta then from here the flux linked with this area it will become ea cos theta similarly magnetic flux is sometimes also called as phi b but in this chapter we write it only as phi because in this chapter we always account for the magnetic flux only again and again we learn to calculate the magnetic flux here so if you learn to calculate magnetic flux very well so it helps a lot in this chapter it is very important to learn to calculate the magnetic flux so let us see how the magnetic flux is same if you have taken a small area you have taken elementary area from the elementary area the magnetic field is passing and also you are having your area vector here suppose area vector is there a magnetic field strength is b so here similar formula will be applied b a cos theta is the magnetic flux through this area here a very important term is there flux linked we should talk about the magnetic flux linked here in this chapter flux linked with area if we say then it will become b a cos theta and in the same way we will be seeing what is the flux linked to a single loop and if more than one turns are there then from a coil what is the flux linked and how the flux is so for now we are taking a count of the flux line passing through this area phi b is the number of field lines through this area so to find this is very simple so using this formula we'll be seeing this later on so let us see forward gauss law for magnetism and as we talk about the unit of the magnetic flux then what flux is flux is tesla meter square tesla is the unit of b into meter square it is also weber because we know that tesla is 
Weber per meter square. Later on, we'll be seeing few more units in the terms of Weber. We'll be seeing other units of the flux also. So here we can see very easily. Let us see forward. Let us see a simple example to calculate the flux. Suppose this page is perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field and the magnetic flux through it is 5 Weber. Suppose this is a page and the flux passing through it perpendicularly is equal to phi and that is equal to 5 Weber. Phi is given. We must be knowing that phi is equal to b into area. If the page is turned by 30 degree around an edge, the flux through it will be. If we turn the page by 30 degree, then what will happen? On turning the page, if we see from the side then, the page is in this way suppose, and the flux passing from this page is 5 Weber. If you have turned it by 30 degree, then the page will become in somewhat this way. Now what will be the value of the flux passing through it? Normally we know flux is B A cos theta. Here what was the angle between them previously? It was perpendicular. The area vector was in the same direction. And the angle between B and A theta previously was 0 degree. So cos 0 was 1. Flux was 5 Weber. So now how much it is? Phi dash we call this. So B A is already 5. BA is already 5 cos now the theta will become 30 degree because now the angle between B and A is now the A vector will be in this way A vector will be in this direction so the angle between B vector and A vector will become 30 degree so cos 30 on simplifying we will be getting 4.3 Weber cos 30.86 into 5 it is less than 5 it is 4.3 Weber nearly so it is simple no problem you should understand the angle very well. Let us see forward. Gauss's law for magnetism. It is very simple, very very simple. One thing we have already seen from a surface, from an irregular surface, if you want to know the flux linked to it, then you divide that surface into small small areas and one small part you call it as dA. Now integration B. B is the magnetic field through this area. So B D A. B dot D A. B dot D A. Flux in the scalar form we write it as phi is equals to B dot A vector. The flux going from a small area is B dot D A. And if we integrate it, then it becomes the net flux passing through that area. This is our symbol for the integration. And we have already seen what it means. It means the summation of all the BDA. Here it will be BDA. Here also it will be BDA. Here also it will be BDA. In the same way in the whole area the direction will be different. Of the B, of the A. And A is taken infinitely small. It is very small. In this way if we do the summation of all the BDA then it is known as integration BDA. And it will become the total flux passing through this area. So to find out the total flux for the irregular surface is very difficult. We only see the formula. We see only the flux of the regular surfaces like the flux passing from a circular or a plane surface. So their formulas are predefined as we have already seen in the electrostatic one. As we calculated the flux there in the same way directly magnetic flux can also be calculated. But if we talk about a closed surface, the flux from the closed surface, what will be the total flux passing through a closed surface? What will be the total flux passing through a closed surface? Either inside a magnet is there or it is not there. Outside a magnetic field is there. So what will be the total flux passing through this closed surface? The total flux will be, it will be integration, closed integration. Integration in a whole surface area B dot DA. It will be zero. Because the flux coming in from here will be equal to the flux going from there. Because the flux 
does not ends inside at a point.